hello, boys and girls. So it's that time of year again. When Papa is checking his list, he's going over it to see who's naughty and nice. And Mrs. Claus needs to get on here and read stories to the good boys and girls. Say hello when you come on. And let me know if you think you might be on the naughty list or if you're on the nice list. Tonight, we are going to read God Gave Us Thankful Hearts. You know that Thanksgiving's coming up at the end of the month. So, each week, Mrs. Claus, which is me, will come on and I will do an easy recipe that you can do with your children and an easy Christmas craft and a storybook. So three times a week, Mrs. Claus will come right here on Facebook. Hello, Randy. Right here on Facebook and read a story and do a craft and a recipe. So let's get started. God gave us thankful hearts. Come on in here, kids. This is a precious little story all about Thanksgiving. Well, there you are, little pup, Mama said. Why are you looking so gloom? I don't know, he mumbled. I'm just sad. He's super sad. That's super sad. How can you be sad on such a beautiful day? because the leaves are changing colors and soon it will be winter. <coughs> I like summer, spring, and fall when I can play with all my friends. Hibernating season is boring. You still have some friends about come winter and there's a reason for us to be thankful in every season little pup. Hello, hello. There's mom and little pup. Y'all come on in and hear the story. We need winter to let the land and some of your friends have rest. Otherwise, we wouldn't have spring. So when you think of hibernation, you think of bears. Little pup's not saying that hibernation correct. Hibernating. But everyone is going to be in hibernating, he grumbled. The chipmunks and the bears and the badgers and the bats, even the raccoons and beavers and squirrels won't come out much. What about the skunks and the bees? You won't see much of them either, Mama said. Little pup smiled. I guess I could be thankful for that. <laughs> so there's mom and little pup, and here's all of the, there's the bees and the birds. Look at all the birds, the raccoons and squirrels, skunks, all of the animals of the forest. They all play together in harmony. We can be thankful for how God paints our forest every autumn, mama said. Yeah, but I'm not thankful for poison ivy, little pup said, remembering the time he rolled in a patch of by accident. It makes me so itchy. True, but you can be thankful you know how to avoid it, right? I guess so. There's always something to be thankful for. Oh, and I'm not thankful when my pack buddies get too rambunctious. Rambunctious with me, pup said. Rambunctious, you mean, Mama said. Yeah, that. Mama giggled. 
but you can be thankful you have friends who will be around all winter, right? They will keep you from being lonely. Maybe. Look at all them pack buddies. A little, little pup, he's got his fair share of it though, right? Look at that. He's jumping right on in there. Hello, hello everyone. The trick to having a thankful heart, Mama said, is thinking about the things that make us happy rather than the things that don't. Hmm, like what? What do you think of to get happy? Looky there. Look at Papa Bear. Papa Wolf done come in there. Well, that's easy. I'm thankful for you, she said, squeezing him tight. Being your mama has made me one of the happiest mamas in the whole wide world. Look at that. Isn't that precious? So precious. Let's see what little pup's going to learn along the way. And you, little pup, what makes you thankful? Well, you and Papa, of course, he said. Of course. Here comes Papa. And I'm thankful for fishing. I like fishing too, Papa said. But God gave us thankful hearts so we could praise him even when we don't catch fish. What? That's crazy talk, little pup said. No, it's not. It's not, Papa said with a smile. We can be thankful for the last bit of bottom and the time together beside this beautiful river even if we don't catch a fish. Throw up hearts if you like fishing. Put a heart in the comments if you're watching the replay. Who loves fishing? I'm thankful we go to the Harvest Festival every year, little pup said. But I didn't like it when we got lost in that corn maze. Hit the like button if you went to a pumpkin patch this year. And it had a corn maze. <laughs> Me either, Mama said. But we found our way through, right? We can be thankful for how God shows us the way, even when it seems a little scary. Yeah. And... That we're not alone in those times, little pup said. Yes, now you're getting it. Now you're getting the hang of having a thankful heart, Mama said. Gonna pick some apples. What are we doing with those apples? Apples are just so delicious in November. You've got to do lots of apple stuff in November. My heart is thankful for apples, little pup said. Mmm, Mama said, and hot apple pie. Oh, yes, and caramel apples, Papa said, or baked apples with ice cream. Now they're making me one apple pie, apple turnovers. Look at him juggling those apples, just having a good old time. You got to choose happy. I'm thankful for the freedom to wander and explore, Mama said, and for the pretty country we live in. Me too, said Little Pup. They're headed in. They got some apples. They got their fishing pose. They're together hand in hand, and they get to look at this beautiful scenery. Yes. You know what I'm thankful for the mostest, Little Pup said. Dessert. And for dinner before it, Mama said, lifting a brow. Something healthy in our bellies before all this sugar. Look what they're doing. Making candy apples. Have you ever made candy apples? 
They're so delicious. Look at all them toppings. They got candy corns. They got the little sixlets. That, that looks like Skittles to me. Sprinkles. Mmm, that looks delicious. But it's not better than cookies. Papa loves cookies. I'm thankful for our cozy, warm home, Papa said, especially as winter draws near. There's no place like home. There's just no place like home. Look at that. They're eating their candy apples. They're spending time together in their warm home while it's blowing leaves outside and the wind's up and blowing. There's no place like home. Little pup had to admit he was really sleepy as he yawned <gasps> oh, and he climbed the stairs toward the bed. He felt so thankful he was with his mama and papa inside and not in the damp forest or the cold, wet snow. I'm glad I don't feel sad anymore, little pup said. I'm glad God gave me a thankful heart. He's going up to bed and he's yawning as he's climbing the steps. They're saying their good nights. Us too, little pup, Mama said. We all have so much to be thankful for. Little pup drifted off to sleep with a smile on his face, thanking God for his friends and family and for fishing and for corn mazes and for apples. Look at his little teddy bear. And for the change in season, even for the end of fall. So, when I want to be thankful, when I want to feel grateful, and I want to put good energy in, um, I start thinking about all that we've been blessed with, everything that we're thankful for. So, when you wake up and you're kind of feeling like you're going to have a blah day, just think of what you're thankful for, what you're grateful for. And you'll turn that frown upside down into a smile. So I will see you tomorrow. We will be making a recipe or a craft. Do I want to be in the kitchen or in the decorating room? Hmm. We shall see until tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. And as always, share the video. Share the love. Get the hearts of flow and put that love in the air everywhere. Thank you so much for joining me. We will have another book next week. Don't forget, God gave us a thankful heart. Good night.